Hello, it's uh, Dr. Hammer from Class Sark, Tour France. I'm uh, responsible of electrification and hybridization of uh, agricultural tractors for class. I try in this presentation to give you some keys and some idea on the possible diffusion of uh, such technology uh, in uh, agriculture uh, field, in particular for agriculture tractors. Uh, the main objectives of the project consist in improvement of the performance and the work efficiency of the tractor and the implement system. Second, less emissions and less fuel consumption. Third, more customer benefits. And finally, accelerating the strategy of autonomous tractors and implements. Let's analyze the strengths of the solution compared to, to its weaknesses. We can expect less emissions and fuel consumption, better drivability and work efficiency. And I think the main advantage will be related to the customer benefits. Nevertheless, the week of the availability of technology, the amount surplus price and the push development nature of the solution represents some represents some weaknesses of this new solution. The possibilities of power depends on the level of voltage. In our case, the necessary power is more than 20 kW. So we need systems with high voltage level, for example, 700 volt. But how to connect tractor and implement electrically? Three possibilities. Implement is completely supplied by electrical power. Implement is supplied by an addition of powers from electrical supply and the mechanical supply. We can assume or can sum torques and or speeds. In this case, what is the retained configuration? We adopt the configuration with full electrical power supply of the implement by the tractors. Now, we have to define the necessary electrical power. By analyzing the power demand on actual tractor, we can see a large range of power. 
On the other hand, by listing the main prototypes electrified implement, the existing one, we can remark a range of power between 20 and 100 kilowatt. With this additional survey on the slide 9, we expect a power of 100 kilowatt in medium term and 150 kilowatt in the long term. This power have to be generated by the tractor, by the tractor and supplied to tractor consumers, internal consumers and electrified implement. As in automotive, we can imagine three configurations for the traction, parallel, series or compound. We treat here the parallel one and the series configurations. Different architecture appear. To discriminate, we have to consider at least two criteria, mechanical integration possibilities and technological availability. For traction function, we can list series and parallel configurations. We assume PTO and hydraulic driven mechanically or electrically. So for series configuration, we can imagine to install first two electrical machine per axle. It means two wheels machines in the front and two wheels machines in the rear. The second one, the second configuration, consists on um, installation on one electric machine on the rear axle and two wheel machines in the front axle. The third configuration, we have one electric machine per axle, one for the front and one for the rear. The, third, the fourth configuration, we install one electrical machine for rear axle with gearbox and one electrical machine for the front axle with gear. Um, the last configuration, in the last configuration, we install one electrical machine with gearbox for the four-wheel drive. Um, the second uh, family of configuration is the parallel solution. Here, we install electrical machine between engine and gearbox. Um, the graphic shows the architectural possibilities in function of traction, tractor power, taking into account the mechanical integration and the availability of the technological solutions in terms of electrical machines and adapted gears. So now, after defining the architecture, what is the suitable, suitable architecture? First, the analysis of the invest costs related to the electrical technology shows a surplus minimum price of 20% of the price of the tractor, corresponding to two architect architecture parallel architecture and the series one with one electric machine and gearbox. So to go deeply in the analysis, we try to analyze, uh, to, to make a multi-criteria analysis. In addition to the invest cost, technological availability, efficiency, drivability, torque vectoring and mechanical integration plus fuel consumption have been scaled and weighted from one to five to perform the multi-criteria analysis. So the result shows that conventional structure still rests the most favorable one. Architecture with, architecture with, uh, uh, of the series hybrid with one electrical machine system to drive the front and rear axle is not far in terms of performance. It is also the case of the parallel solution. Now, what is the roadmap? So we can imagine two steps. The first one is before 2030. It is a transitory phase. So electrical power source coexists with power takeoff and hydraulic and traction. 
The second phase will be probably the final one. So electrical power in this phase will substitute totally or partially power takeoff and hydraulic implement supply. In the reality, several variables can influence positively or negatively the evolution of the penetrability and the diffusion of the hybrid and high voltage electrical system in the market. Some variables are related to legislation and public policy, others to standardization. Third category gathers economical variables and the fourth one, the technological aspects. Needs of the market and consumer acceptance represent important variables. More positioning actors like company making tractors and implements has an important impact on the evolution of the diffusion of this technology. The goal here is not to be exhaustive, but to give some understanding case. But how to use these variables to imagine the future? In my opinion, the past can give us an idea, an idea of the evolution of the future. We can assume a S-curve model for the market penetrability of our technology. First step is introduction and innovation. Second step, evolution of electric technology of component and system. Third step is the growth of the market of hybrid tractors gradually. And finally, hybrid tractor with onboard high voltage market saturation. The history said that the penetrability of tractor in the US has taken 15 years for the different S curve steps. For class and class tractor, the recent example is the diffusion of isobus system in tractors and for implement. It is our reference to draw our diffusion curve in the case of the technology evolution of the electrical technology evolution. To get first approximation, we consider two variables in the study. The first one is related to the adoption and the availability of the technology for cross tractor based on the development history of the ISOBIS system. And the second variable is linked to the standardization and norms. In this case, the different works on similar projects are taken in consideration. Taking the defined variables and based on the scenario theory, we can determine, we can determine the range of time evolution of the diffusion of agriculture hybrid tractors equipped with high voltage system. So the scenario theory allows two main simple scenarios, optimistic adoption and diffusion of the technology and the realistic scenario taking into account the inertia of the different variables and their effect. By simulations of the two variables of the scenario for the two scenario, we have the following result presented in the figure. We remark from today to 2040 approximately, tractor equipped with electric high power system will show their diffusion gradually. The inertia and in standardization make more delay on the apparition of this technology in the market. Finally, we can give the following orientations. First, the electrical power to be installed in the medium term is more than 100 kilowatt. Second, the surplus surplus on the tractor price remains important. Nevertheless, we can remark two attractive solutions in the short term. Parallel hybrid and series hybrid with one electrical machine and with a gearbox. To be competitive with more performance and with more electrical system and 
less cost, an acceptable value of 20% on the surplus can be adopted. The third orientation concerns the apparition of the hybrid tractor with electrical power. It will be normally gradually in the next decade, depending on the different variables defined in this work. Thank you.